RTDA. Hell yeah. VTDA tokens, wild cards. Let's talk about wildcard tokens. Um, some people don't even know about it, and that's a pretty cool feature. Imagine your party is fighting five goblins, and when you drag them out, they will all look the same. We can change that rather easily using built-in Foundry VT functionality. Let's delete the sponge of twins, and let's configure first to use wildcard tokens. For that, we open a character sheet and go to prototype token. And then we go to image. You can see one option, randomize wildcard images. We need to check that box. Now wildcard uh, is basically an asterisk. So we need to edit the token image path to actually be a wildcard. So let's insert an asterisk here. That means whenever you drag a token onto a scene from this actor, Foundry will look in this directory for files matching this wildcard. Mockmerge dot whatever string token dot png. Now, for that to work, we need to remove this part too, so you will need to manually edit that. Have it include an asterisk anywhere. Check this checkbox. Hit update token and you are set. Now, when you open up VTTA tokens, it will understand that you want to create multiple tokens. So whenever you hit save, it will not close this window, it will stay open. And another change here, we can see that it created a file name and for the asterisk it inserted 001. So whenever you hit save, it will create a new file name and it will stay open. So you can adjust to your liking, hit save, adjust, hit save, adjust, hit save, quickly create different tokens in succession. Let's try that. For this simple example, I will just change the background color for different tokens so we can actually see they are visually um, not identical, but different from each other. Uh, we start with a black one and we hit save. And you can see that it's now set to two and it already detected two tokens because one was the one that we, we created in a previous video. So two tokens, if we hover over that, we can see that this one is mock merge 001 token, and this one is mock merge .token .png. So we already got two of them. Let's change this color to red, and I hit save. And now change it to blue, and hit save and perhaps the last yellow one, and hit save. So now we got five, well, four different looking goblins. Let's close this window and let's try it out. We got a red one and a black one, yellow, black. It's kind of random, so they could repeat. And as you can see now, with your tokens, supports you to create wildcard image rather quick and it will allow you to create different looking goblins. You can use everything at your disposal. For example, you can flip the image. You can ramp up the scale. Make a rather small goblin. And if you flip those, rotate them a bit to show the bomb for this one. You can rather quick create at least some kind of diversity. Try if you can actually see some of the new ones here. Because we don't. Ah, there's a small one. There's the big one. 
So, just to demonstrate, you can quickly create different variety of tokens and you can use an amazing feature provided by Foundry to create more immersive games. Now imagine your group faces these goblins and they could say, I will attack the small one, or I will attack the big headed one, or I will attack the one with a bomb. Um, this increases immersion, I think, and you could or should definitely use this amazing feature whenever the situation arises. Take care.